Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries Group Exhibit 2018. Uh, you're here with me today at the Technical Forum. I'd like to invite all of you to please feel free to take a seat, enjoy a coffee, water, or juice while we listen to our next presentation. I'd also like to do a quick shout out to those who are watching our live stream. And just a reminder um, that these videos will be available for you to view in case you miss any of the critical information. Just head to the, uh, to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Fair website where you'll be able to find them. Our next topic is diffusion bonded microchannel compact pre-cooler for hydrogen stations. And here with us today is Mr. Ken Teoka, who's the COO and marketing director of Wellcon. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, my company is Welcome and the uh, focus on the diffusion bonding. Not many people heard about the diffusion bonding and the uh, uh, industries, the bonding technology is, is in history. Everybody know about the rivet or maybe welding or soldering or the Bolton and gasket are very famous, but not many people heard about the uh, diffusion bonding. The 3D printer is getting popular, but the uh, uh, 3D printer actually invented like a mid 80s. Uh, takes time to the wire to people know about it. So, uh, diffusion bonding is, is the uh, uh, developed in around the 1960s, and the uh, mainly they are used for the military and space uh, programs. The what is the diffusion bonding? Diffusion bonding uses atoms diffusion, and then you build the parts first and then pile it up. And then using the uh, uh, diffusion bonding furnace and using force and heat, leave it on inside of the furnace. Then the, uh, uh, the metal uh, it will diffuse by itself and become one piece. Once it's become one piece, actually uh, maintain the original material strengths. So even we can bond it together with the uh, different materials. So I will show you the later. So the concept for that this uh, simple animation is the you build the parts. Prepare the parts first. It, it doesn't matter if it's a, uh, uh, machining or etching or uh, stamping or laser cutting, whatever you name it. You just prepare the parts. Then from the uh, uh, two layer to the few thousand layers, uh, stuck, stuck and piled up, and then put into the machines. The Welcome also built and developed their own diffusion bonding machine. This is very special if you look at it uh, worldwide. Uh, we developed a fifth generation diffusion bonding machine by ourselves. And inside of the, diff uh, the machine, it will compress the first mechanically. Then later on, it will apply the energy, which is heat, but much, much lower than the melting point. Then uh, leave it on, and uh, some wire and uh, parts will become one piece. So we can create something. Uh, if you come to our booth, uh, this is like a 16 millimeter cube with the, uh, some hexagon, uh, the, the pattern on it, actually through hole. And the minimum size, we can get down to like a, a 50 to the 30 micron hole, we can do that. This is a 300 layer piled up parts. Also, this is aluminum with for uh, semiconductor equipment parts. This is uh, uh, the, the coatery cut it for the uh, pie shape cut it, and actually the four uh, three layers, the parts. We can bond it aluminum. Also, this is a very unique, like a, like a, a shape as like a candy, but this is a stainless steel. Its original was of seven layers. Stuck up and, and the bonded together, then we apply the water pressure, then inflate it, hydro, hydraulically inflate it. But you see that even on the edge is very uh, tight and it will never leak. So once you bond it together, it's very stable and very strong. And also, we can bond it to get different uh, materials. This sample is the copper and the stainless steel. Actually, looks like, looks like a three pieces, but actually, there's one line in between the, uh, the coppers. This is some special uh, accelerators, the parts. And then inside of those, those holes, actually, the, the S line and the tube. So we cut it half and then prepare for the, some, some uh, the line, especially rounded line, and then put it together. So also, uh, we're we providing for the, the heat exchangers, which is uh, called a micro-channel heat exchanger. Because it's the beauty of uh, the diffusion bonding, we can maintain very, ho uh, very uh, precise uh, accuracy in, 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 inside of the devices. So we're providing this kind of uh, heat exchangers. This is the, uh, like, uh, about the business card size. 
about 1.5 uh, millime uh, 1.5 uh, centimeter thickness, about 1,000 uh, 1, sorry 10, 10 kilowatts uh, the performance by water and water. And then this, uh, I'm going to show the cross section of a heat exchanger. And inside of that, it's like a, a, this is a sample for the uh, uh, 250 microns. And we can uh, go get down to the 50 microns as well. Why micro channels better? Because if you go into the smaller size uh, channels, uh, simply you can gain the large surface area inside of a small box. So smaller is better, basically, but at the same time, if you go into too small, you are going to, uh, uh, against for the pressure loss. So you have to design and balance to what kind of the gases or the liquid you are going to use. So regarding for uh, the fuel cells, we supply to the, uh, the, uh, the intercooler and then precooler to the, the, the hydrogen station. The FCV, uh, current FCV required to the charging the hydrogen under minus 40 C. Uh, Minimum from minus 33, 33, 33 C to the minus 40 C. So you need uh, some cooling system before pumping to the car to protect the, the car, uh, car tanks. And actually, the, uh, the pressure is the, uh, the 80 to about 2 megapascals. So this, this uh, uh, foil was the NEDO. NEDO was the uh, new energy and industrial technology development organization in Japan. It's founded by Japanese government. And this is the very first experimental uh, test uh, when they built at the 2008. So they've been tested out the compressors and tanks and then pre-coolers and intercoolers. They, they built it. And then this is a photo of the very first uh, the, uh, 70 megapascal, the hydrogen refueling station at the NEDO. And the look at the, this photo, the problem is the, the size. The, and many uh, customers said this is no, uh, this equipment is so large, so big, there's no space such putting the, uh, those equipment to the many places. So uh, we jumped in. We have requested to come into the, this industry. And this red uh, square thing is the, uh, the pre-cooler section. And uh, this two big two become this one size. And actually, this is already in commercial. We deployed to the 2014. Uh, in downtown Tokyo, and our pre-cooler is in the middle of the dispenser. The, the beauty of uh, this is because you can shorter, shorten the, the pipeline from the, uh, from the, uh, the pre-cooler to the tubes, so which means it's easy to pass the J2601. This is the fueling protocols. Uh, after the, in, in, in the 30 seconds, you have to get down to the minus 33C. That's a protocol. So to getting there, the, uh, the you need a very high efficient heat exchangers. Because your heat exchanger is far away, you're actually warming up the hydrogen before pumping in. So the, uh, the putting inside of the, 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 the heat exchanger, you need uh, some small, uh, nice heat exchangers as well. This is the uh, downtown Tokyo. It's, uh, the, uh, and then there's a second floor. There's a Mirai showroom over there. And, and this is also, we are running the uh, 70 megapascal FCB bus in commercial already. And however, it's a small piece of the device, uh, the heat exchangers, we, uh, we are carrying on the, uh, those 20 kilogram, the hydrogen uh, FCB bus already. And this is the uh, prime minister came for the grand opening. And this is the first generation model we, we call the H2, uh, well cool H2A. And we built the, uh, the first one uh, on, on, on the uh, deployed the 2014. And the, uh, today I'm going to uh, address that the, the new version called H2C, uh, because the, however, we believe it was a, a small enough, but still many customers requested cheaper, lighter, and then uh, smaller. So we built a new one called H2C. It's basically half size, half weight, and then half price, but the uh, performance are the same. And we are going to get the PED uh, 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 in the Q3 2018. It's, it's very soon. So we are doing documentation process for, the, for this. And uh, this is the actual size. And we, I brought the, uh, the, the, the mock-up model to the, uh, the booth. So if you come to our booth on the uh, uh, C56, the, uh, you can see the real size of the mock-up model on, uh, on uh, H2C. And the introduction of uh, the Welcome, uh, we are based in Japan. 
And they, uh, we are in a, a locate con locating the Niigata. Niigata is a straight nose uh, from Tokyo, about the, uh, uh, 150 miles. And we established in 2006, and we are running about the 60 people. And we are focused on the, uh, the code M3, and it's a minimum size, a minimum energy, and a miniaturization. Basically, we are everything put it light and small and efficient. We focus on. And actually, these, those are our primary markets, and we are doing the many different variety of uh, the industries. Um, and then there is the, uh, the hydrogen station for the fuel cell. And then, as I mentioned, we are providing for the, the thermal solution and then the 3D hollow structures. So we are not only depending on the hydrogen, we are actually depending on any kind of different industries. So you name it, if you have a, something to, the, to, to um, uh, support more energies or saving energies, we, we maybe may we can uh, contribute for you. And our core competence is the, uh, uh, we can do the summer flow uh, dynamics design and also structural design because we are talking about the 3D hollow structure and also the uh, bonding for the process engine and, as I mentioned, uh, with our own design bonding machines. And the, we are not only just a bonding company, also we can do design and development, and also we can do for uh, evaluation, the test in-house. In, in we have uh, uh, explosion, anti-explosion uh, the, the, the chamber, and also we can, we can test on the, uh, the, the heat exchanger or heat sinks uh, thermal tests in the house. So the, uh, most of the major uh, Japan and the worldwide customer, maybe they are cycling around maybe two or three times for the prototype. It takes about one to two, two years to, before doing for the actual mass productions. And the, uh, uh, if you come to our booth, this is uh, as, uh, one of the applications for this example. For the, this is heat exchangers. And this is also the heat sinks. This heat, sink, heat sink has been uh, start using for the NEC supercomputers. And, and we start doing the mass production with the supercomputer now. And also this is the, uh, the heat pipe. And we call it heat living. It's basically it's a, heat, a heat sheet. It's like a sheet. So you can put some uh, uh, heat living and a very thin type, like for the, like a battery cooler or some the, uh, the consumer electronics. And this is also that we are uh, supplying for the, sum, the uh, uh, thermal conductive plate. And this is uh, for the IGBT or power transistors, or maybe CPU or graphical chips, the very high density, high, uh, high powers. Some, some, somebody needs to spread out the, uh, the power from there. So we're providing those. And the last, as I mentioned, that we'll be do doing for the hydrogen uh, heat exchanger as well. And the, this is our booth. Uh, building 27, the boost to seat 56, and this is a summary. And the diffusion bonding is the best way to build the micro channel. And also the uh, diffusion bonding is very useful production technology today. Because you know the 3D printer, but they only buy, do the one by one. The diffusion bonding in the batch process, we have a large, a large scale of the batch. We can build the parts in the multiple uh, ways. Also, compared to the, like, uh, 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 the uh, regular heat exchangers, uh, we can get down to the two time, 200 times uh, smaller, uh, better than size and the performance. And we are focused on the 3M, which is uh, the 3D hollow components. And if you have a question, I'm happy to answer it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Tayoka. So are there any questions at this point from the audience? Okay, well, I noticed during your presentation, uh, you mentioned that your H2C is half size and half price compared to the H2A. Yes. Um, how did you manage to do that? Shrinking by 50% of the t uh, size but keeping the cost the same is quite impressive. We, we, we changed the internal uh, flow design. So the uh, H2A is kind of conventional design, and we just re entire remodel for the uh, matching to the uh, make it shrink uh, smaller. But it, it performs quite similarly almost Based the same? By same yes okay wow uh, well if anyone comes up with uh, any more questions I'm sure that they're available for for uh, discussion at booth c56 and are you here for the rest of the fair yes okay perfect 
Well, thank you so much for your attention, and thank you, Mr. Tayoka, for your time. Thank you very much. I hope everybody enjoyed this presentation. We'll be back in about five minutes with our next uh, next topic, uh, the Nell H2 Station Sustainable Hydrogen Business for Cars and Heavy Duty Vehicles. Hope to see you all here. Thank you. Thank you.